cream that I feel that I'm going to use for rest of my life. Hello, Anyang, this is Yuhi. Welcome to my channel. I'm a working mama based in London who is obsessed with K-beauty. I only want the best for myself because although I'm a mom, I have my priority. So is it March already, guys? Seriously, I mean, maybe because of the months of February is so short, it went really quick, didn't it? I am back with a little late February favorites video to share my Holy Grail KPT products that really saved me during this cold months of February. I have an extremely dry skin, so it can be really challenging during this time of the year, and these products have really helped me out. So without further ado, let's get into the business. Before we kickstart, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to show some love and support. First, let's start with an essence. Corsrex Advanced Nail Radiance Dual Essence. Now, before I go into more detail about this dual essence, I must mention this essence over here. This Corsrex is the most viral essence. Corsarex Advanced Nail 96 Mousse and Power Essence. This product has appeared a couple of times in my previous videos, including my January favorites, as well as in my shorts. I featured this product along with my favorite niacinamide product over here. One thing, niacinamide 10%. I mean, combining these two products in one, it feels absolutely amazing. I've described it in my shorts that it feels out of this world. So basically, this dual essence over here is a combination of these two in one bottle because it contains snail as well as niacinamide. And if you look at the packaging, oops, I'm dropping everything. So basically it says, this is formulated with triple snail complex and niacinamide. They will enhance skin plumpness and will boost your skin's radiance. Well, I still actually think using these two is like real game changer. These two together gives a extreme like intense hydration. So I, and I like how I can control the amount of niacinamide if I use these two in one. But if you want to minimize your skincare routine and would prefer everything in one bottle, then this is great. This is a very lightweight with slight sticky snail texture that absorbs so well to your skin without lasting hydration. As mentioned earlier, it has the two main ingredients, triple snail complex of 74.3% and 5% niacinamide. This really gives you that glow, hydration, and tackles the signs of aging. This is a powerful essence that provides elasticity and radiance to your skin. My only concern about this dual essence is that I'm not too sure if I'm getting an even amount of these two essences at one pump because if you look at it, I'm assuming this milky color is the radiance essence and this clear tone is the snail essence. If you look up close to it, you can tell that the radiance essence has significantly reduced much more than the snail essence. So, I'm just a bit concerned towards the end of the bottle. I might be left with just a whole lot of the snail lessons. I'm not too sure, but if I pump it out, I can see that both are coming out. Please let me know down in the comment if anyone has come across the same problem. But other than that, this is very hydrating. It does make my skin feel really radiant after usage. So I'd highly, highly recommend this essence. Now let's move on to our cream. Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream. I know that you guys probably have heard a lot about this cream already as so many skin influencers out there have been raving about this and I'm going to as well because I absolutely love this cream. I've been loving it since the end of last year so during this whole months of cold winter period this has been absolutely amazing cream. I have been meaning to talk about this. In general I really like Beauty of Joseon products so I'll do a video one day covering all of my favorite Beauty of Joseon products including some of their like recent new products as well so please subscribe and hit that alarm button if you haven't already to not miss out on that video as well so this cream this is a cream that i feel that i'm going to use for rest of my life yes that is how good this cream is when you first try it it doesn't seem anything special it's just white color very standard visual and standard texture but when you try it on 
OMG, this one just ticks all the boxes, like it's texture, it's hydration, it's so moisturizing, it feels luxury yet it's affordable, it just nails in every way. This is a gentle moisturizer with a pH level of 6.3. It's enriched with nourishing humbang ingredients such as 5% ginseng root extract as well as 2% niacinamide, 29% rice bran water and 2% squalane to moisturize, brighten and tighten the skin. This is probably one and only cream as yet that I feel that I can 100% confidently recommend this to anyone. This is such a well-balanced cream that keeps your skin plump and moisturized. I highly, highly recommend this cream. Now let's move on to an eye cream. 3W Clinic Snail Eye Cream. Ooh, I love the snail ingredients. So a snail eye cream, I'm so by that already and this product was so affordable. Right from Starvana, I got this for, for around £3 when it was on sale. So when it comes to eye cream, I personally consider the texture as most important. It needs to be kind of sticky and gluey enough so it stays on well and not too lightweight because if the eye cream is too lightweight, I noticed that it can actually get into my eyes which is not very nice. This eye cream has a just right level of elastic texture, not too sticky or too gluey to work perfect around the eye area. This cream is designed to effectively reduce wrinkles, dark circles and puffiness around your eyes. You know all eye creams does take some time to see the real result, but this eye cream as mentioned earlier has a really great texture and after usage it does make my eye area feel fresh and radiant. Now moving on to the second cream recommendation, Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This cream you can purchase in a tube or in a top container like this one. And this product was recommended by Uniani. This was mentioned in her Best of 2022 video and I love Uniani, so I really wanted to try her recommendations. So recently I have done a big KBT haul of most of her like um, recommended products from that best of 2022 video so there will be a review video on that soon as well so once again if you haven't already hit that subscribe and alarm button so you don't miss out on that video as well so this cream is a recovery cream that hydrates and moisturizes focusing on repairing damaged and irritated skin and, and this cream really does that whenever my skin is feeling particularly more sensitive this cream does tend to calm and soothe my skin my first impression though of this cream i didn't really like it because of its blue color i mean I, when it comes to colouring, I can be a little conservative, I guess, because I only go for like white, cream or light brownish tone. It's just something very personal, like even when it comes to like choosing ice cream flavours, what do you guys choose? I would always go for something like vanilla, coconut, yeah? I would never go for something like blue. In UK, there is a flavor called bubble gum, which is like really blue. I'm a person who would never go for that flavor. Like probably the only like really colored flavor I would go for is pistachio, that's about it. So it's just something very personal, yeah? Apparently this blue color comes from an ingredient called, I hope I'm gonna say this correctly, guayazuelin, guayazuelin. This is a plant-based component extracted from chamomile oil. It is a powerful skin calming ingredient effective in skin cell regeneration. Plus this contains Sika Centella Asiatica extract that will also help to regenerate the damaged skin. And it also has ceramide 3 and peptides, which are both hero ingredients that are amazing for intensive skin repair and dramatic anti-aging benefits. This is perfect for all skin types, including sensitive skin like myself, and it also tackles acne prone and sun damaged skins as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out during summertime. I mean, come on summer, when is it gonna come? Yeah, I mean, even spring hasn't really come to UK yet. I don't know where you guys are, but here in London, it has been so cold. I mean, it's March and it snowed today, this morning. It snowed, can you believe? Now let's talk about the toner. Lovey Lovey Oat Canal Ferment Toner. 
So now I'm back to the beginning of the skincare stage, the toner. I want to talk about this one, the last, like a teaser of my next video. This product, I got it gifted by the brand Love Bee Love Bee. Love Bee Love Bee belongs to a company called Musinsa, which is the largest fashion e-commerce company in Korea. I think they are about 20 years old and they launched beauty business since 2020, so fairly new, but they have more than 10 beauty brands, including La Gome and Bee Lab. So back to this toner here. This one, I was really pleasantly surprised by this toner. This toner felt really delicate, refreshing, non-sticky, and it smells divine. I love this packaging as well. Just look at it. It's so simple, sophisticated, and it has a really warm, calming tone. And this bottle design really reflects well to what this toner offers. In my next video, I'll do a review video on this entire lovely, lovely Oat Canal Ferment line. So make sure you come back, guys. So which of these products are you guys interested in or have you used? Please leave a comment down in the information bar below. I'd love to hear from you all. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products, all the shopping links will be down in the information bar below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Annyeong!